What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. My name is Hassan and today we're going to be diagnosing a Rolls Royce Phantom drop head for random multiple misfires. Let's get into it. So the first step is to make sure that the key is open. I have my ICOM hooked up. Battery charger is also connected. And we'll make our way over to Vista. We'll go ahead and read the faults. All right, so we got the control tree pulled up. We can see we got some faults in various modules, but what I'm concerned about mostly is the DME faults on DME one and two. So let's go ahead and take a look at what those might be. So we're gonna go to display fault memory. And we're looking for things that are existent or unknown. So DME combustion misfires. You can see it's on multiple cylinders, several cylinders. And that's, that's what the customer complaint is about. And then down here you can see you also have one on 11. So we have misfires on a lot of cylinders, which kind of tells me right there that it's not going to be spark plugs or coils. Uh, usually when those fail, it's one or two cylinders. They don't usually all shit the bed at once. So based on this information, I would say that we have something else going on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some, some checks, probably do a smoke test. Just make sure that everything's sealed up. And I'm also going to look at the data that's stored from when these faults are stored. So let me do that and I'll tell you what I find. So some common knowledge that I know just from experience, um, a common maintenance item that gets missed a lot, and BMW or Rolls Royce does not put it on the schedule as a maintenance item, so they never get replaced. But generally, a lot of the times, these PCV valves, these are the reason you get misfires. They break and stick open, and then your mixture going into the intake is no longer accurate. So I know that more than likely, the bank two, PCV is broken. I'm going to test it and see what happens, but I'm thinking ahead. So I already ordered them. I have them on my table in toolbox. This is what they look like. They are fairly inexpensive. And you can see they have an opening there. But what happens is when they break, it allows uh, oil to go into the intake track and a lot of the times it causes problems. There's just a spring in there and a diaphragm. So I'm gonna just uh, double check my work before I put these in and more than likely this will be the fix. So it's good knowledge to know that these are a problem and that they get missed a lot on these N73s. It's very notorious on these motors that these will fail. I would suggest and recommend just changing them every time you have a major service completed. Okay, so in order to remove the PCV valve, you're gonna need some things. You're gonna need a T30. I use a little kit like this, works well. And some gloves, unless you like to get hurt, because these plastic pieces will, will hurt you. And that's about it, actually. So the first step is to pinch this and carefully remove it so you don't break it. These are fragile and they are horrible to replace if you break them. There's an O-ring inside and you need to just kind of work it out so the O-ring slides out. They can be uh, tedious to do. There it is. Got that part off. And then this one, I won't even mess with it till you have this pretty much off. So we're gonna take our T30 and the first fastener I'm going to do is the very bottom one down here. I'm going to go ahead and break this loose and remove it completely by hand. Being extra careful not to drop it because it will fall into the abyss. All right, got that one out, set it aside. Now we'll do the top two.
Once you have them all out, just carefully work the valve, wiggling it backwards so the O-ring comes out of the intake manifold. And then slowly and carefully pull it out. And then you can pinch this bottom hose and remove it safely. Just like that, it comes out nice and easy. Nothing's broken. My plastic's still intact. Take note that there is a gasket on this that we will need to transfer over to our new valve. Now let's head over to the bench and test it. So I've removed both valves, bank one and bank two. We're gonna head to the bench and test the bank two, which is my suspect bad valve. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use air. So here's the old one off bank two. I'm gonna use a little air pressure and a glove to act as a vacuum reservoir. And we're gonna see if we can hold. Now let's try our new one and see what happens. Here's our new unit. We wrap it up. All right, let's test the new one. You can see it's holding. So our suspect and uh, problem part was correct. We found our fix. All right, all the new parts are installed. Let's start it up and see what happens. Uh, when the car came into me, anytime it just sat and idled, it misfired. Like as soon as you started it up, it would start shaking and the chicken light would flash. So here we go. Seems to be buttery smooth. I don't feel any shaking in the steering wheel. Feels good. I think this is a confirmed fix. I will go test drive the vehicle and verify that, but as of right now, it feels good. No misfires. It would have already been shaking and flashing the check engine light. So there you have it, folks. If you have a Phantom with an N73, and you have misfires at idle and it's uh, multiple cylinders, check your PCV valves and uh, do them as a maintenance item. Thank you for watching my video.